So what we've done here is we've defined a little function called the main menu. And in it, I'm going to write print with triple quotations and the triple quotations. And if you remember, whatever you write within there is going to be printed to the screen. So let's make a nice little So you can be as creative as you'd like. Let's add the required menu options, which are register, login, search, which is going to open into an additional menu, matchmake, which is going to contain our secret algorithm, and finally quit. going to have a choice variable. We always do it this way, so we have a choice. You can call it selection, you can call it x, whatever you like. We have input because we're requiring user input. Enter choice. And obviously they're going to make a selection from the above choices. So if the selection, or whatever this variable is, actually for, for ease I'm going to call it x, is double equal sign, don't forget, is equal to one, then we want to jump to the register screen, which we haven't created yet. Elif x is equal to two, login, In order for that to work, we need to import sys. Let's just do that. And obviously, in order for any of these things to work, we also need to create these functions, which helps us to set up the entire system. So let's do that. Pass just allows it to be functional without anything actually happening in it, not throwing up an error. I'm just going to write register for simplicity. So if we run this program, it doesn't do anything. These are some of the bare basics. Why? Obviously, because it's not calling anything yet. It's not telling it to actually start something. So right on the right to the left, make sure you you've typed it without any spaces. That's not going to work. So it has to be right down to the left. Main menu. You then play the program, and it does present you with your main menu. Now, it might not completely work. Think about why. So it's not actually jumping to the register screen. So if we go back to our code, it says if x is equal to 1. Now, 1 is an integer, and we've actually said input choice, and this is asking for string input by default. So if we want this to be integer input, we can do it in two ways. We can just say integer open brackets, close brackets at the end which will solve the problem, and just to demonstrate that it will. Let's have a look at this. It does take me to the register screen. Um, but just for interest, it is useful for you to know that you can do it another way, which is simply to turn the x into an integer over here, which should also work. going to do it this way. I'm 
got all my screens in place. Let's just t test the login function it does. Now at the moment it doesn't go back to the main menu. So again, you can use what's called a recursive call. So I could just go main menu and it will go back. This is not ideal, it does work, just to demonstrate. It takes you back to the main menu, but it can take up huge amounts of memory. Another option is over here. While true, and this is something we've gone through in the Solve and Learn series when we were looking at while loops. So let's have a look at how this works. It takes you back to the main menu after printing the red, going through the register screen. If I try to go to the search menu screen again, it does that, and it takes me back to the main menu. So now what we have is we have our main menu and most of our program set up, ready to actually get coding and get the functionality working.